Hello, and today I'm going to talk about some Get Good Drums Camper Profiles. So I've had these profiles for, I don't know, maybe since they came out, basically since they came out. Um, I bought them and I've been using them for mostly leads, I'll be honest, mostly leads, because the leads patches are amazing. Um, and yeah, I've been using them quite a lot recently. So I thought I'd do a wee video like I used to do videos on them. Um, on Kemper profiles, and I'll get on to it. So I'm just going to use Rig Manager to control my Kemper. Oh, even though my Kemper's right here, but still. Control that, Kemper, in at my focus right, 18i20. Um, I've used my main as Devel Elite with an Oil City Blackbird in the neck. And I'll just use that tune to drop B with a uh, 12 to 60 gauge strings on it. Alrighty. So this is the KSR Gemini. I'll start with that. sounding brilliant sounding app um really thick really thick really throaty um really getting a good sound off that one and uh, next one i'm going to go for is one of the lead ones that i've been using quite a lot which is the dual repto f lead so it's already got set up with uh, some delay reverb um i should note i'm keeping these as they came from Get good drums, no, I've not edited these at all, so I'm just clicking them on. Um, so this is the delay, got a delay and reverb on it, so. Yeah, so really like that one. It's got those Devon Townsend vibes out. It's not. Um, I really, really like that one. That's the one I'm probably using most out of all the um of all the profiles on this. Um, so that's the dual recto rev F lead. Um, I'm going to move on to Driftwood Purple Nightmare Rhythm. Uh, this is an amp I have actually uh, played and reviewed. Um, I've not compared the two. I've I, the two completely different setups, so I'm not. I'm not, I wouldn't even try uh, to compare the two. But um, this amp was one of the best amps I've ever tried. So. And this uh, this profile was awesome, so this makes sense. <laughs>
Sorry, I keep touching my nose, by the way. Hay fever season. Torture. Anyway. Yeah, that amp is insane. I love that thing. Um, let's go for one that I don't use. Right? I'm going to go for one I don't use. So, see, I know the Gemini. I know the Driftwood. I know the Cobra. I don't use the Friedman Butter Slacks. So, this is the Friedman Butter Slacks Rhythm. Let's see how this is. Sounds brilliant as well. Should maybe use that one more. <laughs> um, let's go for another one that I don't know. Uh, I'll stick with Friedman. Friedman JJ 100 Elite, right? So let's go for that. <laughs> Files. Um, I'll go for one more, and it's one that I have actually used. This is the uh, the Mesa uh, JP2C lead, so this is John Petrucci one. Again, I've played a lot of these profiles. Again, this is a really good lead sound. I really like the lead sounds on these, like I said at the start of the video. <laughs> Move on to my legendary pickups and um, custom lined for this guitar. Um. <laughs> latest single, um, The Shima, if you want to know. Um, I used that profile for the leads on that. Um, it was a good wee thingy. Good wee song, that. Good wee bit of fun, this lockdown. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the video. Uh, I just wanted to do a kind of quick run through of them, like I used to, um, with no 
real real editing required. Um, it was something simple. If you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll be making more more videos anyway. Um, I might get the the quality a wee bit better as well. I'm looking in ways I can do that. For instance, my phone's currently sitting on about twelve stacks of boxes on my desk. I'm getting my stand for it. <laughs> um, it's on its way just now, but with the whole situation right now, it's, it's not essential, so it's not going to come anytime soon. Yeah, so hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you, and I'll catch you later. Bye bye.